Hey everybody, my name is Ronald and in this video I'm going to walk you through where you can find some files if you want to print your own Skaven Tide box set from Games Workshop. Okay, so here's the deal. I know there are people out there who would say like, hey, you can just scan these files and, you know, take them and print them for yourself. That's intellectual property theft and we're not going to do any of that today. Sorry. What we are going to do is I want to look and try to help you guide through what would it look like if you already owned a 3D printer and you wanted to print what was going to be coming in the Skaven Tide 3D, uh, the Skaven Tide box set from Warhammer. Uh, a couple things. I went and saw what it's going to look like and it, it looks great. Also, it looks expensive. So I, I went to see what all the Warhammer community had to say about the Skaven Tide box set. So let's look here just for a second to see what it has in it. Right here, when we look, we can see that the Skaven Tide box set is going to cost about, where do we come from here? 200, no, where are we at? Do, 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 US dollars, $265 if one were to purchase this from Games Workshop, which you could, but maybe don't. All right, so this is what is going to be coming in the box set, right? This is all what comes in it, and it's, it's jam-packed. There's a whole lot of stuff in here. But let's say, instead of buying all the stuff from Games Workshop, you decided that you wanted to just use your 3D printer and print them. Couple questions. One, how much would that cost you if you were to buy these files? And two, uh, where can you find them? I know when I was starting my 3D printer like journey, hobby, whatever you want to call it, I was at a really hard time like trying to nail down where those files were and where I could try to locate them. Well, what I'm going to try to do is show you what I found that I think makes some pretty good like one for one replacements of what comes in the box. So let's check this out. So Games Workshop, uh, the first thing that they show off here in their new Age of Sigmar book uh, box is all of these models, which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to try to see what we can find. So the very first thing that they show off here is the Lord v Vigilant on Griffstalker. So this guy looks pretty cool, right? Riding a big old bird. <laughs> Super fun. And he has got a big hammer. Or you got over here. We got this big guy. Looks great, right? Looks like a really neat model. All right, so what if you wanted to go and find this for yourself? Like, what if you wanted to go and find one that you could have for your very own and print it instead of um, having Games Workshop do it. Well, I, I found this really neat creator called Raging Heroes. And uh, Raging Heroes has a really, really cool uh, griffin right here. I'm gonna show you, check this guy out. Lord Chameleon on a winged Hippopolyon. Sorry, not a griffin, Hippopolyon. This guy looks pretty awesome, right? So if you wanted to find a big hero uh, on a on a mount, this could be it for you. And this guy from him would cost you, uh, I think it's twenty dollars. We'll we'll go over the we'll go over the total cost at the end of what everything is going to cost here. All right. So then the next thing that comes in the Games Workshop box are a couple different heroes. You have your Lord Terminos, one, with a little guy over here, so a big guy with a hammer, one. Then you have your Lord Veritant, uh, we've got balloons. Uh, you've got <laughs> this guy with a, you know, looking flames with a sword, I'm, I'm, my face is covering the sword here, flames and sword right there. And then you have your Knight Quester. Knight Quester, all right, so again, if we're going back to looking at Raging Heroes and what they have, they have some pretty sweet looking heroes. Uh, the first one that I think would work out would be this, uh, I'm going to butcher this, Torque Maris Inquisitor. I like this guy's look a lot. And if you were going for that same like flame sword look, like this is some really cool stuff that 
you could have right here. This guy's pretty epic looking. I, I like the look of him a lot. So these, this guy could definitely do for one of those heroes. And then we have the Theoden the Third Paladin King. This guy looks awesome. He's got a big old hammer right there. You can see him. Uh, love his look. This could work for your Quester Knight if you wanted or for the other. Yeah, it could be super cool. And then for your third hero, uh, you have this guy. Lord Carmelian Battlefield Hero. Again, big old cape looking stuff standing on this really cool uh, base with a giant sword up here. Or let's say you, instead of wanting like just three dudes, maybe you wanted to switch it up. And you wanted uh, Revriel the Fifth, which I love how this one looks here with holding um, the sword and also some censers as well. The Queen Saint here looks like a pretty epic model. Uh, or you could get uh, Saint Antilles, right? I love the sword over the back. That looks pretty sweet. Um, of the Eternal Light, really, really cool model here with the wings and everything like that. Could be super cool. Or, if you wanted, uh, Sir Il de Ducermont Herald. If you wanted a guy with a trumpet, this could be your guy with a trumpet. Now, what I was noticing is that uh, this guy right here, Heroes Infinite, which looks pretty cool, I will say. Um, I'll make sure that there's a link down in the bottom. This creator has a whole lot of stuff. They have a Patreon that you can subscribe to for $10. Um, looks really, really great. So this would be a really neat one to check out. I didn't see a ton of what I feel like would work well for the troops. So let's go back and see here. Once you get down... You get to the Reclusions. All right, so these are the guys with big uh, shields and axes. Like this guy's double double fisting these axes right here. And then you've got Prosecutors. These are our Stormcast Eternals uh, with wings. And then underneath them, just your run-of-the-mill Liberators. Okay, um, Battlefield guys with axes. Okay, so for these three... I actually went over to a different creator, which I normally like to keep all with the same one, uh, just for looks, but instead I came over here to, uh, this is called the Beholder Miniatures over on Colts 3D. And so for the Prosecutors, uh, we have here the Stormwell Valkyries with their two-handed hammers. Uh, I thought they looked pretty cool, and as you can see down here, they would be held up by their capes instead of um, instead of different. And you have helmeted and non-helmeted versions, which, you know, if you like that, that's pretty sweet. Uh, you could use them for the prosecutors. And then they had, what I have here? Stormwolf Warriors, which these guys are cool. When you get these, they end up having, you can equip them with either spears or swords, right? So the, the uh, variety there is pretty sweet. Uh, I do like that. So spears or swords for them. And then for the reclusions, uh, these guys here with their giant shields, big old hammers, uh, or again, axes. So I love with 3D printing that you get the option to do one or the other. So pretty sweet. And these are Stormwolf Punishers with axe and hammer. And again, this creator is the Beholder Miniatures. They've got a lot of really neat stuff that they have. They have some chaos, some elves, some other stuff in here, but storm wolves are their Stormcast Eternal uh, variants that they have. So some really, really neat stuff here with what they have. So that would take care of all, if you were to looking, if you were looking to try to print everything that comes in the box set of the um, Stormcast Eternal side, you could print them that. Now, what they don't have, and what I honestly couldn't find, were all of these little, like, extra guys. Like, all of the little um, assistants. Couldn't really find ones that worked well for that. I don't know if you could proxy in something that you could find from a different creator. If I am able to find one, uh, something else that seems to fit that later, I'll definitely put that in there. Um, but I wasn't able to really to find one that I was super pleased with. So then on the Skaven side... What do you have for the Skaven side? Let's scroll down here to the Skavens. Okay, Skaven, 
You have a Claw Lord on Gnaw Beast. Now, this Gnaw Beast, I gotta admit, looks pretty dang cool, right? Uh, a little rotted over here, some, some neat stuff going on in this direction. For the Skaven, uh, I really went and wanted to look at the uh, one-page rules Skaven that they have. Uh, so they have a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, and for that one, we could do the Ratman on Giant Beast. So this guy would be our, our proxy for him. So some really cool, a really cool model, riding a big old, <laughs> big old like scroll looking thing. I want to make sure that you can see it. There you go. Like, it looks pretty sick. I, I I like the look of him there. So there's, there's what we could use for that model. Uh, the next you have the Gray Seer. So this is the the wizard type model, the the warlock or a mage, and for that we have. Let's get to this one here. Ah, the Warlock. Yeah, for that we have this model here, which comes with a halberd, a, a, a pistol right there. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, you can print them off that direction. I think this would be a really good way to proxy that way. Uh, the next is the Engineer that you have here, and they have a bunch of them <laughs> from One Page Rules. This is the Ratman Engineer, so you've got uh, your one guy with a gun and a, a claw type thing. You've got your one guy with a drill. Arr, look at that drill. Uh, then you have another one here with, again, claw and different variation of gun. Uh, and this gets you all three poses here. So if you wanted to do that. And then last, uh, that's the, all the characters. Yeah, so the claw lord on Gnaw Beast, the Gray Seer, and the Warlock Engineer. Then you have the Rattling Warp blaster this is one that was leaked a while ago uh and if you were to want to do this one uh one page rules has one for them as well the great death roller now you can as you can see when you when you get this you can print it either with these guys up top here and you can see him kind of piloting it as he rolls along uh, or you can print it without the guy on top, which is right here. So just, if you just the rolling part, <laughs> if you just want to be rolling along and you don't want the guy on top, you can print it that way. Or again, printing it with the rattling guy up here, which is a total way that you could totally do that. Uh, and that would be, that would be a, a way that you could. Uh, then we have the rat ogres that they have. These are, are newer looking rat ogres here. Uh, One Page Rules has them as well. So we got some, some cool looking rat ogres with a lot of different uh, weapon varieties. So they've got hands here, hands here, or holding holding weapons. we got the big mace, got a big flail going on back here, a morning star in the back. A uh, whole bunch of different options for these guys that you could do, which would look pretty cool. Uh, you could print off these guys as many as you wanted for them. So either weapons with weapons or without. Uh, then you have the war, Warplock Giselles. So these are like our sniper, our sniper type guys. And of course, let's see, we'll get to them. Yep. So One Page Rules has the, the snipers that you could proxy in with them. So the same type of deal. These guys here. I like I like the, the rat here with <laughs> its mouth open. That's pretty cool. Uh, same deal here. You get these models that come with it. All of these is set of three right here, which would be similar to these three. And then your clan rats, just a ton of rats. And uh, One Page Rules has their rats as well, uh, just their warriors. So with One Page Rules, their warriors come with either uh, shield and sword, shield and spear, or shield and halberd, uh, and come with the command group as well that you can print off. So again, sealed and shored, sealed and shored, sealed and shored. Tons of different poses and bodies here. Spears, spear, tons of that. And then again, the halberd that they have. Super cool. All right, so that is the whole set of those. So uh, what we're finding out, like we, we said, these would probably cost 
if you were to look at uh, Games Workshop pricing and what we think it's going to cost, it's going to be $265 right there for the box set. All right, and if that's something that you are super excited about, there you go. Uh, that you could wait and pay $265, or I'm doing the math and did all the math here on these two. Uh, if we were to look at my cart, what I have from one page rules, and then what you would need to download from uh, Colts 3D. So let's look at Colts 3D first. Uh, printing off the Valkyries, uh, so the Reclusions, the Warriors, and the Punishers, that's $24.45. So let's go ahead and round that up just to 26 because we know tax is going to happen at some point. So let's say that's $26. And then we'd come over here to the uh, other side where you've got all of the, the rats and then the hero characters from Heroes Infinite. So this is one page rules and the other. Adding that all up together is 114. So what I'm getting with all of that is $140. Now, if you already own a 3D printer, obviously you don't have to buy a 3D printer in order to print these off. Um, but that's how much it would, that's how much I'm saying that all of this stuff would cost you if you were to buy it just at cost, right? And then if you were to add in a whole bottle of resin, which I use Sun Lu, uh resin ABS, and I get the two pound bottle, that's another $40. So let's say it's $180 in order to print all this off if you already own a 3D printer and if you already um, are just paying all this stuff as is. Now the cool thing is if you are a patron to One Page Rules, uh, what they do is all of their stuff is half off as a Patreon. So all of their models are half off if you were going to just buy it on their through their Patreon. They give you a discount code that you can use on my mini factory. And so that takes our $140 and instead of having it be that much, just doing some quick math here, plus five, plus 10, plus 15, Oh, okay, so uh, the Ratman Warriors are 1250, the Warlock is five, the Snipers are 10, the Death Roller is 15, the Rat Beast is 15, the Ogres are 10, the Engineer is seven and a half. That's $75, divide that in half, 37 for all of the Skaven pieces. It's $37 for the files. And then you add in all of the heroes that we've got from Raging Heroes. So that's six, six, that's 12, uh, then 13, and then another 12. So I can math, that's $25. 62 plus the, uh, with what we had from Colt, $24 for them, therefore $45. $86. Okay, $86 to look at their stuff. Again, plus the 40 bucks. Yeah, you, you end up saving, if you just subscribe to Patreon, to One Page Rules for one month, spend 10 bucks, uh, instead of $180, it's $136. If, again, you already had the printer, you were gonna buy the resin, and then you just bought all these models. All the One Page Rules stuff would be half off, and I, I looked to try to see if uh, Raging Heroes had any such deal. Uh, sorry, Heroes Infinite. I keep saying Raging Heroes, my bad. Heroes Infinite had any such deal with their Patreon. I couldn't find one, so it doesn't look like they discount their models any if you subscribe to their service, but uh, you could save uh, potentially 40 bucks. So, you know, that's what it looks like as a, a 3D printer, uh, someone who enjoys the hobby. You, you go find the files, you print the files, you play the game. So again, that's not gonna get you the rule book for Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar. It's not gonna get you any of the scenario, like the uh, scenery that they have, but there is tons of scenery that you can find for free on Colt's free 3D. In fact, I'll even just like real quick, I'll just look up fantasy scenery and click free 
just to see what we might be able to find on Colts 3D. Yeah, and so let me let me go over here and show you this, what I have found with that. So if you were to just, all this stuff is free. And all I did was type in fantasy scenery. And this is what I have found on Colts 3D. Uh, you've got scatter terrain over here. You've got some fantasy taverns, some buildings. Uh, you've got some interesting ruins over here. You've got these uh, towers that could work for your 40K games. A whole bunch of stuff that you could get and find just by searching Colts 3D and looking for free terrain. So a whole bunch of stuff that you could find just for free, just by searching. So I hope that video was helpful to you. If you're looking at the Skaven Tide box and you're trying to think, ah, I don't know, is, is this something that I, I want to buy? Something that I'm looking forward to buy? Or would I rather just kind of print all the contents off for myself and buy them from uh, creators who I like? Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, hey, do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe. Uh, if you have found other models that you liked better, do me a favor. Tell me who the creators are down in the content. I'm always looking for new creators and wanting to support other people who are making some really cool stuff. Uh, my name is Ronald. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks so much for watching the video. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and have a great day.